Hi friends, welcome to Crack You RRB SSC and Banking Examinations channel. Railway recruitment boards are all set for the recruitment of paramedical vacancies. RRB has released the recruitment notification for paramedical vacancies across various regional RRBs. According to RRB Paramedical Recruitment 2019 notification, a total of 1937 paramedical posts like staff nurse, dental hygienist, dietitian, optometrist, dialysis technician, health and malaria inspector grade 3 and other posts. Now we are looking at the official website of RRB Sikindrabad. Here we can see the centralized employment notice for the recruitment of paramedical categories. To download RRB NTPC previous papers, go to google.com and search Kraku RRB NTPC previous papers. Go to the first link from the search results. Click on take test to take the test. Click on the notification. Here we can see the detailed notification followed by online registration for paramedical categories. This is the centralized employment notification released by RRB boards for the vacancies of paramedical category. Now let's have a look at the important dates. Coming to the important dates. Date of publication and employment news is 23rd February 2019. Publication and official website is on 4th March 2019 and opening of online registrations is going to start from 4th March 2019 at 10 a.m. and closing of online registrations is going to end on 2nd April 2019. For payments, online payment is going to happen on 5th April 2019 and for offline payment it is 4th April 2019. Closing of online submission of applications complete in all respects is on 7th April 2019. The computer based test is tentatively going to schedule during first week of June 2019. Now let's have a look at the detailed analysis of vacancies that are available for paramedical categories. For dietitian there are a total of 4 vacancies, for staff nurse there are a total of 1109 vacancies, for dental hygienist a total of 5 vacancies, for dialysis technician a total of 20 vacancies, for extension educator 11 vacancies, health and malaria inspector grade 3 there are 289 vacancies, for lab superintendent grade 3 there are 25 vacancies, for optometrist there are 6 vacancies, for perfusionist it is 1 vacancy, physiotherapist it is 21 vacancy. Pharmacist grade 3, 277 vacancies, radiographer, 31 vacancies, speech therapist, 1 vacancy, ECG technician, 23 vacancies, lady health visitor, 2 vacancies, lab assistant grade 3, 82 vacancies. A total of 1937 vacancies across all these categories are released. Now let's come into the important instructions. Candidates waiting for final year results of prescribed educational qualifications should not apply. That means candidates who are in the final year and who are not getting the results before 2nd April 2019 cannot apply. If your results are going to be out before 2nd April 2019, those candidates can happily apply for this examination. Candidates should have their own mobile number and a valid and active email ID because RRB will be communicating only through these mediums for the future process. Coming to the stages of examination, there shall be a single stage computer based test. However, RRBs reserve the right to conduct additional computer based tests. For now, we can expect only single stage computer based tests and there is a negative marking of one third of the marks allotted for each question for every wrong answer. Now coming to eligibility criteria. A candidate must satisfy either of these conditions. He should be a citizen of India or a subject of Nepal or a subject of Bhutan or a Tibetan refugee who came over to India before 1st January 1962 with the intention of permanently settling in India or a person of Indian origin who has migrated from any of these listed countries. So all these people or candidates 
who come under B, C, D, E and F categories, they are supposed to get a certificate from government of India. The certificate is required only during the appointment stage. For initial rate of applying the examination and attempting the examination, you are not supposed to produce this. Now coming to age limit, different posts have got different age limits and there is age relaxation for candidates belonging to OBC, SC and ST. For candidates belonging to OBC, there is an age relaxation of 3 years, SC and ST it is 5 years, for ex-servicemen it is 3 years upon the number of years of service they have rendered. Coming to the examination fee. Candidates belonging to unreserved category and OBC within the fee is 500 rupees of which 400 rupees shall be refunded back to their bank account duly after appearing for the first stage of CBT that is computer based test. For candidates belonging to SC, ST, ex-servicemen, PWD, female, transgender, minorities and economically backward classes for them the fee is 250 rupees of which 250 rupees shall be refunded to their bank account after duly deducting their bank charges after appearing for the CBT examination that is computer based examination. You can pay the fee through online as well as offline mode. In offline you can pay it through SBI bank challan payment or through post office challan payment. For online you can do it through internet banking or debit or credit cards or through UPI. For the first time, RRB is introducing reservation for economically weaker sections. They have given the instructions for candidates who are eligible for EWS. These are the instructions. Please go through them carefully if candidates are willing to apply through EWS quota. Now coming to the recruitment process. Initially, candidates are supposed to submit their online application. Only one application is accepted per candidate followed by a single computer based test which is going to be conducted. The single computer based test will be of 90 minutes duration and there will be 100 questions in that test. The areas that are covered are in professional ability a total of 70 questions and then marks allotted are 70 marks. For general awareness, a total of 10 questions carrying 10 marks and for general arithmetic, general intelligence and reasoning, a total of 10 questions covering 10 marks. For general science, 10 questions allotted with 10 marks. So a total of 100 questions need to be answered in 90 minutes of time. There is a negative marking as well. For every wrong answer, they will be deducting one third of the marks that is allotted for each of these questions. So candidates who clear the first stage of CBT that is computer based test, they will be called for document verification and medical. Now coming to how to apply. Candidates can apply for notify post by going through their regional RRBs. Before applying for the post, candidates are supposed to read the following instructions carefully. So to prevent any mistakes, candidates are supposed to have scanned documents of photograph and signature, their category certificate if students belong to SC or ST category and go through the RRB wise vacancies for the qualification and reservation category of the candidates. Please go through all the vacancies that are published across different RRBs. Only then you need to apply for this post. To score better in RRB exams, practice previous year papers and mock tests. Please do Google search for crack you RRB mocks for attempting free mocks. Please do Google search for crack you RRB previous year papers to attempt previous year papers of RRB. So for more videos, please do like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more notifications. Thank you.